Well, this is it. This is the start right here. We're getting our uh, sail on. Oh yeah. Heading out. Here's our beautiful little boat. Just spent uh, probably a full day, two days plus some, getting her ready. We are uh, set, ready to go. We go grab some fuel and be on our way. Let's see on the flip. We're all fueled up, we got full fuel. We're leaving Bellingham. Beautiful out, not. There they are. Working hard, sailing stuff with the fish. <laughs> Mom passed out, too much champagne, probably. Well, we are just south of Point Roberts. We're doing a whopping five knots, so oh, four and a half now. Cruising. But it is nice out. Well, here we are, day two, the 20th. We just started off out of Whalers Bay. Morning. 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 Dad at the helm. Got some pretty good breakers today. Lovely though. Three on the adventure. We're just leaving in Imo. There she goes. My S track. We're headed out into the sea. Next stop today will be Comox. See Grand Marie. Yeah, we're going to be dropping off mom. We did all this amazing cooking. On day four or five, we dropped mom off last night in Comox. We're gonna starve. Now. We're <laughs> down to starving. My ass track once again. Just a phenomenal morning. We're heading across the Comox Bar. Hauling ass is 6.3. Here we are. About ready to hit the uh, Seymour Narrows. Easy. About 20 knots. Let's see what we get through here. Let's see how we're hit this uh, the current here. We'll probably have about three knots at the tail. So on this other side. Just wanted to uh, make a quick vid. It's just the dad and I. He's skinning mules. We're here in the uh, Otter Cove just before
Would you ask Marta if she knows what this what these are for? Hmm. Cabin. Sixth day here. Dad and I are leaving wonderful little auto auto cove, auto cove, whatever it is. There's David, some other old guy. And yeah, we're just waking up to perfect mornings here. Right around this corner is John Stone Street. I feel like for the past week it's been gale warnings and now we got light winds or at least you know 15 knots and then tomorrow and the following day light winds. So, it's going to be an awesome trip, I hope, today. Yeah! Hey, you Jojo. Yeah, I know your name. Thought I saw you jump a Utah train But I could not say <laughs> I could not say That's cool. Heard you try to keep your hat on a shelf Leaving Port uh, McNeil up there in the background. It's about 6 6.45. Oh, 6.45, we're late. Where's Dad? Texting again. We're headed through uh, the end of Johnstone Strait. We're heading into Queen Charlotte Strait and then Sound. Working our way around Cape Town today. We're trying to deal with boat frustration. Bouncing off of the mountaintop Out over the San Luis Wanna go and never stop Defying gravity Something invisible Seems to be living here Something irresistible Now that I am crystal clear Yes, I was born to wander on nothing but columns of wind up here in the blue yonder 
above the clutter and din, where thermals of rising air love to whirl and spin. I climb their winding stairs, casting my fate to the wind. Good morning. We are leaving our little green island inlet. Right behind the base back there. Just had a nice little humpback encounter too. That was pretty cool. We're starting off. We made it to Oliver's Inlet. Babe, still wearing your shirt, your favorite one. <laughs> Beautiful little nook here. He's been pressing that shirt too. Every day. Starts it in distilled water. Now it's mule time. For skinning. Ah, man, it's just perfect. Well, here we are. We're leaving our beautiful anchorage back there. Just went through the Perceval Narrows. We're working our way northbound now. It is just phenomenal now. We're doing 8.2. We'll never make gentlemen's quarters. Exposure to the sun. Pops is downstairs sleeping. This is phenomenal out. Keep on keeping on. Well, here we are, making our way up to Douglas Channel as we prefer, prepare to go up to uh, Grenville Channel. It is a beautiful day today. We got some beautiful waterfalls to be looking at. Seas are calm. They're calling gale force everywhere else. But not in the interior. Dad at the helm. Soaked to the bone. Leaving, I think it's day 10 now. We're leaving uh, low inlet behind us here. And we got smooth, calm waters for right now. We had a shitty night last night. Here we are, I think day 12 or 13. We're leaving Prince Rupert. And we 
got a pretty big crossing ahead of us going across East Dixon up into Ketchikan. We're probably overnight and somewhere around Foggy or the north side of Dundas. But uh, Dad's at the helm here. It's just starting to rain. The seas aren't so bad right now. We got talked into it this morning to go where the winds are. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, we got shit ahead of us. Dad, Whew. what hell of a run. We had, it was gross. But we did all right, and uh, we managed to make it into a little place called Foggy Bay. Tomorrow we'll catch a can. We'll get to see you, babe. Say hi, Pops. Hi, Pops. <laughs> Here we are, day 12 or 13, who knows. We're just uh, coming out of Foggy Bay. Back there. Tiny. Got down to about 14 feet. It was only like 40 feet wide. It was tight. Sweating in there. Coming out at least. Nice on the inside though. Super fat. Super thick mud. Nice restaurant. Yeah. Restaurant dock. Showers. But we're headed across the last bit of Dixon here. And it looks a lot better than yesterday already. We'll be in catch can by about 4 or 5 p.m. today. Maybe our GPS says one, but we'll see. Yeah, you know, we're sitting here drinking wine, eating lunch. Big old whale right next to us pops up. Both of us just shot ourselves, ruined our shorts. I go to good lunch. We're coming into Catch Can. Man, what a day! Not used to seeing that up there. Without his coat, water's calm, no rain. Oh my gosh, we just uh, here we are in Ketchikan. We got a fine day, day 13, 14. Who knows? Kind of lost track now, but dad's up there on the bow. We just got great weather in the forecast for ourselves today. We just cleaned out the pooper back there, had a wonderful night's sleep. Now we're gonna go pick up my babes. She's over there at the airport, so her plane just landed. I'm super excited. Can't wait to see her. And we're gonna start hauling mass up to Juno. So we'll uh Dad's Dad's yelling at me. But uh, here we go. So on to uh, another journey with a new member. Can't wait. She made it, we're on, and we're going forward now. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and it's beautiful. Good airplane coming in right here. Power carpenter. Well, here we are. Coming up on day 14, something like that. We're just leaving Myers Chuck behind us. Can't say anything. Beautiful little Anchorage. Had a nice night last night. Marta was here, she's still sleeping now, trying to catch up on her rest. Dad and I waking up to this. I worked my hands in wood. Do you still love me? Answer me now, yes I would. I'd place you above me. Here we are, day 15, 14. Uh, one of the two. 1,514. <laughs> uh, we're coming out of Petersburg here. Behind us, just a beautiful day again. Orange in the morn, sailors be warned. Is that yeah, right. orange? Yeah, right. Dad's downstairs, texting. Lighting them off before we run out of service. 
We got about two more days till we hit Juno. So coming in on the uh, closing of our trip here. So hopefully we don't sink. Hey, hey. We're one day away from Juno now. We made it to uh, just the tip of Tracy's arm. Just the tip. Just for a night. And we're heading in that direction, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. And there's pirates. So we're going that way. Right past the... We got uh, whales right out here, icebergs floating everywhere. Yeah. Intruders. It is absolutely phenomenal. Hee-haw! Hee-haw! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's well, our final day? As we make our way back to Juneau here. Coming up on day 15 or 16. Everyone's kind of getting a little tired. You can definitely tell. But uh, our windlass just pooped out on us, so had to pull up 200 feet of chain by hand and blah, blah, blah. But we stayed in a beautiful place last night, had a wonderful stay right outside of Tracy's arm. It sure was beautiful. There's Wifey. Yeah, we had some whales come right up next to us last night. Man, they scared the hell out of us. <laughs> I wasn't scared. Yes, they were. Anyways, we'll be in Juneau by the end of the day, and that'll be the end of the trip. Just a little bit long.